A family from Cranberry Township is celebrating a Christmas miracle today. Their twin daughters came home on Christmas Eve after spending the first 80 days of their lives in the NICU. Shelby Cassessi spoke with the family today and she's live in the studio with more on their story. Shelby. Pam, over the course of the past 80 days, Jim McCaglia and Crystal Brown didn't know if their daughters would survive, let alone be home in time for Christmas. But they received the best possible gift when doctors told them little Brooklyn and Bristol could go home for the very first time on Christmas Eve. Jim, Crystal, and their daughter London were overjoyed when they found out twins were on the way. That joy quickly turned to fear when Crystal went into labor just 25 weeks into her pregnancy. But you just don't think of labor being a reality at 25 weeks pregnancy. Brooklyn and Bristol were born on October 5th at West Penn Hospital, over three months ahead of their January 16th due date. They were just in little boxes, and I didn't even realize how small they were and how, like, how serious the situation was. They weighed a little over a pound and had several major health concerns. Doctors said they may not survive. We were quietly almost doing funeral planning in the back of our brains, and that's just not something that you anticipate. We just didn't know what every day was going to bring. Like, the, like they couldn't tell us, like, they couldn't tell us, like, whether they were going to survive or not. But both babies began to show signs of improvement. Soon they were reaching milestones set by doctors, and days before Christmas, Jim and Crystal got the news they thought may never come. On Sunday, they said, you can take them on Tuesday. I honestly don't think that I even believed it until we were actually walking out of the hospital. Now the family of five is enjoying being together at home for the very first time. I go hold my baby sister. I get to play with them. I feel like God carried me and I don't have any other explanation because like science says that like neither of them should have really survived. These girls are definitely fighters, that's for sure. I mean, they've beaten the odds. Crystal says the babies will be on oxygen for the next few weeks and will likely need glasses when they're older, but otherwise they are expected to recover and live healthy, normal lives. Pam.